then then god commanded let the water be filled then god commanded let the water be filled with many kinds of living beings and let the air be filled with birds so god created the great sea monsters all kinds of creatures that live in the water and all kinds of birds and god was pleased with what he saw he blessed them all and told the creatures that live in the water to reproduce and to fill the sea and he told the birds to increase in number evening passed and morning came that was the fifth day then god commanded let the earth produce all kinds of animal life domestic and wild large and small and it was done so god made them all and he was pleased with what he saw then god said and now we will make human beings they will be like us and resemble us they will have power over the fish the birds and all animals domestic and wild large and small so god created human beings making them to be like himself he created them male and female blessed them and said have many children so that your descendants will live all over the earth and bring it under their control i am putting you in charge of the fish and the birds and all the wild animals i have provided all kinds of grain and all kinds of fruit for you to eat but for all the wild animals and for all the birds i have provided grass and leafy plants for food and it was done god looked at everything he had made and he was very pleased evening passed and morning came that was the sixth day and so the whole universe was completed by the seventh day god stopped working and so the whole universe was completed by the seventh day god finished what he had been doing and stopped working he blessed the seventh day and set it apart as a special day because by that day he had completed his creation and stopped working and that is how the universe was created